Okay, see this big guy in the corner? That's a drone. Um, drones are really big. They have huge eyes so that they can spot the queen. Um, and compare that to these workers. Um, these workers are, if I can get it so it can focus. The workers are much smaller. Um, their eyes are not as big. Uh, I still have not spotted the queen yet, but I've never been good at spotting queens. So, oh, there's the, there's another drone. Right there, big guy. Hmm. So anyway, um. Yeah, I know. It's from earlier. So, this is the feeder, and in here I have uh, one to one water sugar solution, one to one um, by volume. And I have some bleach in there, about two tablespoons of bleach, uh, or sorry, two teaspoons of bleach. And that keeps the mold from building up. And if it's not at too high of a concentration, then it doesn't bother the bees. And there are a couple of medications in there, too. There's tea tree oil, which um, helps with tracheal mites, and fumigelin, which is for uh, nosema, which is kind of a bee dysentery. And then this powdery stuff that you see on the, on the frame, that's either teramycin, which is another antibiotic mixed with sugar, or pollen substitute, which is soy flour, milk, powdered milk, and uh, the brewer's yeast. But anyway, unfortunately, bees are kind of heavily medicated because of all these diseases. And later on, um, when the colony grows larger, I'll start doing in integrated pest management in order to reduce um, varroa mites. And what you do is you put in a special frame that has larger uh, cell size and the queens know that the larger cell size means that they're supposed to lay drone eggs and when they do that um, you know all of the larvae will develop into drones and the varroa mites prefer drones so they go onto the drones and then you just take that drone frame out freeze it and all the drones die um, so that's one way to reduce varroa mites and you can also do it with uh, uh, type of, well, it's not an insecticide because <laughs> mice are not insects, but anyway. Uh, so, hmm, we've got something going on over here. Mm -hmm. Interesting.